So I would say that for me, Buddhism, and particularly Zen, if you think of a map as being a picture or a story about a land or terrain, I think that Zen teachings are the map, but the terrain, the real world, is in the practice of meditation, the practice of Zen. For example, the experience of the terrain is impossible to explain unless you've been there. But actually, all of you have been there, you probably just haven't noticed. It's, it's like describing the taste of water. You cannot describe it to somebody who has not tasted it. Okay, so let me explain a little about Buddhism and about Zen. Okay, the teachings of Buddhism is are the most of us see our lives as a story. And we want the experience of our life to match the story. The problem is life doesn't match your expectations. It doesn't match your story. Okay, your life doesn't match your expectations, it does not match the story that you tell yourself. The result is that we spend a lot of time regretting the past, being angry about the past, things were not the way we wanted them to be, or or we spend time being anxious about, worried about the future. Because, because we want it to be the way our story is. The result is we don't spend a lot of time living in the only moment that is, which is this moment. Que existe, que es este momento que está ocurriendo ahora mismo. 